where her mouth is when it comes to ethics reform by forming a political action committee that will support candidates who embody the ideals of good government and quote progressive government the so-called MBA pack which actually stands for no bad apples is a pretty rare recognition by an elected official in Albany that the problems aren't all limited to the other side of the aisle that actually shouldn't come as any surprise here. Senator Liz Krueger, she's a Manhattan Democrat, has a habit of speaking her mind. She's also a frequent guest on Capitol tonight, and we welcome her back this evening. Senator, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. This is, as I mentioned, unusual. It, it is going to be a political action committee. Your goal is to raise $300,000 to do what exactly? Uh, to do early reach out and recruitment of possible Democratic candidates to run for the state Senate, who, as you pointed out, um, have as their mission good government and a passion for why they would want to come to Albany to represent their districts. I just don't think there's enough effort being made to find people and literally draft them, convince them they're the kind of person who ought to be a senator in Albany. And this comes, of course, amid a time when we're talking a lot about ethics reform, we're talking a lot about corruption scandals in Albany. We've been talking about that for some time now. Do you envision that any of these Democrats that you would be recruiting would not only challenge Republicans, because of course you would like to get the majority back, but also would challenge Democrats, people who are in your own conference? Well, right now, I don't actually think that we're going to be working on races involving other Democrats. I'm very proud of my participation in efforts to rid my conference of Hiram Montserrat, of Pedro Espada. And really, unless Carl Kruger decides to run again, I don't think I'm going to need to primary him either. What I'm looking for, though, are great, progressive, smart candidates who understand why they need to come to Albany. They need to be part of our government. I was drafted, Liz. I never imagined running for office. And I spent years working through the DSCC to find other good candidates and run them and win for state office. I'm very proud of the candidates I've worked with over the years. I'm very proud of many of my colleagues in the state Senate. We just need more of them. Just to be clear, though, if Senator Kruger does run again, and, and again, he's been accused, but he has not you know, pleaded, nor has he been, or I believe he has pleaded, actually, and he says he's innocent, and he has not been convicted. That's the requirement, that you're convicted of a felony, and that's how you lose your seat. You can be indicted and hang around as long as you'd like. And that was the problem last year with Pedro Espada, right. who continued to say he was running to remain in his seat in Albany. I worked with Gustavo Rivera, invested a lot of my political capital, my fundraising efforts, and my support to help Gustavo win that seat in a primary to make sure that whatever might happen to Mr. Espada through the court process, he wasn't going to be sitting in his seat in the Senate Democratic Conference. So you would do the same with, with Carl Kruger then? Yes, I would. But other than that, I am searching for other great candidates who will take on Republican opponents because I am a partisan. I believe that the Democrats have the right answer for the state of New York. And I'm very sorry that we lost our opportunity to remain in the majority by losing races by just short of a thousand votes total. Even with everything that has happened, the, the dysfunction in the Democratic conference, the, the coup uh, attempt and then subsequent stalemate of 2009, the scathing Inspector General's report of the AEG scandal, the investigations now that we see into Senator Shirley Huntley and her nonprofit, you still believe that the Democratic conference it would be better suited to lead than the Republicans? Yes, I do. I think you just left out the list that you could have made of my Republicans. Republican colleagues Fair enough, in their Senator. conference. Um, I believe in democratic values. I believe that the Democratic Party has the right answers for the state of New York. And again, I'll point out the Republicans had control of the state Senate for nearly all of the 20th century and, and just just lost it for two years in the 21st century. Uh, we have great ideas with the right people, we can do wonderful things for the state of New York. Now, you spoke actually to the Democratic leader, John Sampson, before you did this, or about your plans to do this, to create this PAC. And you also spoke to Mike Gianaris, who's a former assemblyman, now the head of the DSCC. And uh, they, their response was, was positive? I think there was a little confusion initially about was this some kind of competition. This is no competition. Um, I know what a DSCC needs to do because I ran ours for several election cycles. 
what NBA is going to be doing is a little different. We're going to be out there doing early recruitment, technical assistance, giving some candidates the help they would need to become strong candidates that the DSCC would very likely be looking at further down the road. So, so the same way as I have worked for years to support and train young women to consider running for elected office through my work with Emily's List and Eleanor Roosevelt Legacy Committee. I've now taken this on as a specific project to raise some money to help support some great candidates, men and women, into the Democratic Conference. So just in closing, where do you think you might be finding them? Um, well, it's amazing. Just like with one or two stories out there, I'm already being approached by people. Um, I'm just bringing on a staff person whose full-time job will be to be reaching out to people, meeting with them, going through benchmarks of what they need to do to develop a serious campaign for themselves in their districts. So I actually don't think it's going to be that hard for me to spread the word. Well, Senator, I appreciate your time. It's good to see you, and we will be keeping tabs on, on No Bad Apples, <laughs> which, is a very, uh, which is a very funny name. I just worry that I'll be sued by the Basketball Association. <laughs> I'd rather have their contribution. <laughs> Fair enough.